Wikipedia says, in the mass media and amongst average citizens, cult gained an increasingly negative connotation, becoming associated with things like kidnapping, brainwashing, psychological abuse, sexual abuse and other criminal activity and mass suicide. While most of these negative qualities usually have real documented precedents in the activities of a very small minority of new religious groups, mass culture often extends them to any religious group viewed as culturally deviant, however peaceful or law abiding it may be. Mm. You've often been compared by the media to people who have encouraged violence, suicide, abuse and criminal activity, such as David Koresh of the Branch Davidian movement. Mm -hmm. What do you say about these claims? Well, firstly, as I've stated many times before, Mary and I are not setting up a new religious movement. We do not desire to set up a religion. We don't even desire to set up a group. All we desire to do is to visit people who desire to know more about their relationship with God and more truth from God's perspective. And we're willing to share that truth with anybody who asks. It doesn't matter what religion, what background, what political background, what cultural background, what country. We are completely open to discussing these particular matters with any individual. So we are not setting up a new religious group. All we are doing is sharing information that we believe is truth to other people who are willing to listen to it. That's all we are doing. In that regard, we are no different to any other person who does a similar thing. Some, some are like, you know, um, some of the popular um, world renowned people who are seminar presenters. Myself and Mary are not world renowned. Uh, but we are seminar presenters. We just present information to groups of people who desire to come along. We are different in that we don't charge for what we do. So people are allowed to come along for free and sit in the seminar for as long as they like and leave whenever they want. And they don't have to feel obliged to stay or obliged to leave or any other thing in between. So we have a very strong viewpoint that all we are doing is sharing information. However, what happens a lot is because I am saying that I am Jesus, most people then think that I'm now setting myself up above other people and that I want to be worshipped and all of these other things, which are not true. They say they assume these things about me because that's what other people who have said they are Jesus have done in the past or are currently doing on the planet. I am very different to those people. But unfortunately, because I am saying that I'm Jesus, I am lumped in the same barrel as the other people, as the Wikipedia article suggested. There is only a small minority groups, a small minority of groups of people on this planet that are truly dangerous when it comes to any new movement. And yet those ones tar the brush for any other person. Just because I am claiming that I am Jesus, it does not mean that I want to set up a religious movement. It does not mean that I want worship. And it does not mean that I want to be the leader of a, any particular movement. All I want to do and all I have ever wanted to do is share what I believe is the divine truth to people on the planet, which they themselves can discover for themselves, actually, through their own processes. And they don't need me to discover them. All I'm doing is sharing what I've discovered. That is all. I am not doing anything more than that. I don't have control over people. I don't manipulate people. I don't tell them what to do. I don't tell them how they should live their life. However, in their interaction with me, if they are not loving, I will walk away. That's the only limitation I place in any relationship with me is that if you're going to be unloving towards me, then I probably am not going to enjoy a relationship with you. Now, I cannot see how that is comparable to these people that I'm often compared to. All this is, is a media beat up attempting to make the association in people's minds between myself and these other people in order to have the media's viewpoint projected at mass, the mass market. That's all it is. It's the media selling their own viewpoint 
using the fears of people they are selling it to in order to make a, a, a joint a join between my, myself and these people who have been damaging and definitely been harmful to other people on the planet. I cannot agree with the behaviour of these groups because they are unloving. Just as I cannot agree with the behaviour of the media because it's manipulative and controlling, power hungry and therefore unloving. All I can do is continue to say what I'm actually doing and that is I am presenting information in seminars for free if anybody wants to come along and listen. That's all I am doing.